Welcome everyone, as we learn Chok Yisrael, Parshas Nasa, Yom Rishon, Day 1, the Ezra Hashem Yisbarach. Again, we learn Parshas Nasa, Day 1, Yom Rishon, the Ezra Hashem Yisbarach. Vayidavar Hashem HaMoshe Leima, Hashem spoke to Moshe, saying, Malel Hashem HaMoshe Lameimar, Nosoas Rosh Bnei Gershon, count the heads of the uh, children of Gershon, Gam Heim, they also, Rashi says, beside, like you did for the Bnei Kahas, to know how many will be able to do the Avoida, Lebeis Avoisam, according to their father's household, Lemishpachoisam, according to their families, Kabel Yas Chujban Bnei Gershon, Afinon Lebeis Avoasan, Lezare Yasan, says Rashi, Nasas Rosh Bnei Gershon, Gam Heim, Kemoshe Tzivi Sicha Al Bnei Kos, like I instructed you with the children of Kos, Lerois Kama Yesh Shegir Lechlal Avoida, how many there are that uh, uh, reach the age of being able to work in the Mishkan, Mi ben shloishim shon of Amala from 30 years and up ad ben chamishim shon until 50 years old. Tifkai doisam, you should count them. Kol abolit svot all those that uh, join the legion to do the avoid in the base of English, la avoid avoida, to do the service by el mayet in the mishkin. Mi bar tlosim shin leila ad bar chamishim shin timne yasan, kol da osi lechayol lechayla, this is the work of the family of Gershoni Lavod to serve Ulamasa and to carry Dain Pulkan Zarayas Gershon Lemiflach Ulamatal Venasu and they will carry Asiriya Isa Mishkain the uh, lower level roof of the Mishkain the S Oyel Mayed and that's the uh, covering of the uh, goats here, Mirseyu, it's covering of the Elam Odamim, the rams dyed red, or Mirsei Atachash, and the covering of the miraculous Tachash creature, Asher Olav Milmala, which was above, Ves Mosach Pesach El Maid, and the screen of the entrance of the El Maid, V'yitlon Yas Yiriyas Mashkin of Yas Mashkin Zimna Chofoi V'chofo Desas Gabna, the Aloi Mila'ela, the Yasprasa, the Sra Mashkin Zimna, says Rashi, as he reads Hamishkin, that's the Ezer Tachtainis, the ten uh, lower uh, coverings that uh, the, is made from the Sheish Tchelas and Argaman, which is seen, and the Tala Shani, which is seen from the inside of the Mishkin, the Es Oyel Mayed, which is Yiriyas Izim, the uh, hangings of goats here, Asuyas Oyel Alav, which is a covering over it, and then Mechseyu, which is the Oyes Elam Oydamim, the rams dyed red, Masach Pesach, the Vilon Amizrachi, that's the eastern screen. The Es I'm not sure if I said the Targum Vietlan, yes, you is Mashkin of Yas Mashkin Zimna. I did. The S Kale Achatzer and also the uh, hangings around the courtyard. The S Mosach Pesach Shar Achatzer, the screen by the opening of the gate of the courtyard, Asher Ala Mishkin, which, as Rashi explains, uh, protected uh, the Mishkin. And went around the, the, the Mizbech and the Choshes. Ves Yisrayim, their cords. Ves Kol Kalei Avodasim, all the other uh, utensils, the pegs, the, the, the hooks, the tables. Ves Kol Asher Yosalem, all that will be given to the Bnei Gershon to do, Vavodu, and they will serve. Yes. Srade Darsa, Vyas Prasa de Malana, the Sra Darsa, the Almashkana, Valmad Bhaskarska, Vyas Atunayan, Vyas Kol Money Pulkanhoin, Vyas Kol the Yismasa Lahoin, Vyiflukhan, Asher Alamishkan, Kloim Akloim, the hangings of Amesar Shal Khatzir, and the screen of the Khatzir Hasaikhim that um, cover umaginam and protect ala mishkin val mizbech and the saviv it goes around the mishkin and the uh, copper altar ves kol asher which means kitarguma v'yas kol the yismasa line everything that was given over to them l'bnei gershon to the children of gershon and now we learn from the navi of shayftim the story of chana uh, of of uh, chana and uh, 
of Manoyach, but he is Echad Mitzara, he was a man from Tzara, Mishpacha Sadoni, Ushmoi Manoyach, and his name was Manoyach, Vishtayakara, his wife was barren, Velo Yolada, she never gave birth. Vayera Malach Hashem Eloisha, and a Malach appeared to the woman and said, Vayemer Elah, he may not at Akari, you're barren, Velo Yalat, you never gave birth. However, Vahoris, you will conceive a Yalat Bain. You will have a child. And now, this is a very special child. He Shamri Na, be very careful now. The Al Tishti Yain, don't drink any wine, Vishakh, or any strong beverage. The Al Tokli Kotame, and also don't eat anything that a Nazar is not allowed to eat from Chatzon and Badzogim, the grape skins, the, the, the kernels. Kihinachara, because you're going to be conceived a lot, pain, you're going to have a special child. Umora lo yala al a razor shall not pass over his hair, he's going to be treated like a Nazar. Kinazir al because he's a big Nazar to Hashem, yia, now this child will be minabotan, already from the, the womb. Vu Yachel, and he is going to start Leishias Yisrael to save Klal Yisrael, Miyad Pelishtim, from the hands of the Pelishtim, from the Philistines. Vatava Isha, and the woman came to report this to her husband, Manayach, Vatayimel Isha Lema, she said to her husband, Isha Lekimbo Eli, a man of God came to me, she thought he was a Navi, or Mareyu Kimare Malach Lekim, and his appearance was like an angel of Hashem, Noira Ma'od, amazingly awesome. Velashil Tiu Amiza, and I didn't ask him where he came from, Amiza who, the Eshmoilo Higadli, and when I asked him his name, he didn't tell me his name. Bayamali, and she reported to her husband that he said to me, Hinachara, you're gonna be pregnant, Violat Bain, you're going to you're gonna conceive and have a child. Ba'ata and now Al Tishti Yain Vesheikha, don't drink wine or any strong beverage, Val Tokli Kotuma, don't eat anything that a Nazar is not allowed to eat, Kinizir al Kimya Narm and Abetin, because a Nazir to Hashem, the child will be from the womb, Adyay Maisa until the day of his death. And now we're going to hear words of Musr that Shlomo Melech's mother told him. Divrei Lemuel Melech, words that the king did against Hashem by uh, marrying the Basparo and other activities, drinking wine. Uh, so Divrei Lemuel Melech, words that the king did against Hashem. Masa Asher Yisratu Imai. This is a a rebuke that his mother chastised him with. Mabri, what did you do, my son? Mabritni, what did you do, son of my womb? Mabar Nidore, I made so many vows, son of the one who I made so many vows that he should become a Talmud Chacham. Al titein la noshim chelecha. Don't give to women your strength by having too much tashmish with women. Udrachecha, and don't let your ways be lamachais malachim, like the pleasures of the king. Allah malachim lamoel. It sh- should not be for kings uh, to do against Hashem. Allah malachim. It shouldn't be for kings shesay yoyin to drink wine. Ulareznim, and for leaders, a shecher. They shouldn't have strong drink. Pen yishta, lest they drink v'yishkach mechukak. And they forget the law. And by doing so, they will pervert the, the judgment of the children of the poor. Strong drink belongs to the Russia who will perish. And wine has a place for those that are bitter from soul because of mourning or because of hardship. And now, our adventure for the day is the second parak of Mesech the Shviyas, as we start a new week, and therefore we're once again in Seder Zeraim, in Mesech the Shviyas. Now, in the sixth year, where we said that we learn out from the Pasuk of Becharish of Bekatzer Tishbois, that you have to already start keeping Shemitah at the end of the sixth year, at Emos Eichoshim Bistei Lov on Erev Shviyas, until when could you plow a grain field? The grain field is caused called a stay love in a white field because it has no trees to cast a shadow and to darken it. So at a Choshim to stay love in Erev Shviyas, until how long can you continue to plow and work a grain field in the sixth year? At Shetichla Aleicha, until the moisture, moisture stops to be in the land. 
as long as there's moisture in the land, so the plowing is good for the sixth year, and you could plow. As long as people still plow to plant cucumbers and squash or gourd, if there's still moisture, then you're allowed to plow. Rabbi Shimon disagrees. Rabbi Shimon says, Then you're going to let each person decide what the law is. In one person say his ground is still moist, the other one will say the ground is not moist. Ella bestay eleven, you could plow a grain field in the sixth year out of Pesach until Pesach, or bestay elon in a tree field, like we said in the first barrack, out of Tzeres until Shavuos. Mizablin, you're allowed to, to fertilize, or you're allowed to hoe, but make sure you some you could uh, scatter fertilizer and hoe. Cucumbers and gourds, ad Rosh Hashanah, all the way to Rosh Hashanah. The Chaim Bebeis Hashlochen in a field that needs irrigation, uh, it can't grow without watering, you could fertilize and hoe until Rosh Hashanah. Miyablin, you could remove the warts from trees. There were growths like warts from trees. Mefarkin, you could unburden the extra leaves from the trees. Maapkin, you could cover. Uh, with avak, with dust, roots of the trees, if they became exposed and uncovered. Ma'ashnin, you could fumigate and uh, smoke in order to kill insects. Ad Rosh Hashanah, until Rosh Hashanah. Reb Shimon Aimer, af noitel hu esa olam in a eshkel bashviyas. If there are clusters of fruit, even in the seventh year, you could remove the leaves from the clusters uh, not for the benefit of the fruit, but for the benefit of the tree. Misaklin ad Rosh Hashanah, you could remove stones from the field in the sixth year until Rosh Hashanah. Mikarsimin, you could prune a tree of the dead branches. Mizardin, you could thin out live branches in order that there should be more room for it to grow. Mifaslin, you could remove decay growing in a tree. Ad Rosh Hashanah, all the way to Rosh Hashanah. Rabbi Yeshua Aimer, Rabbi Shua says even more, Kizeruda Ikipisula Shel Chamishis, just like the, the thinning and the removing of the tr- tree, that which grows from the fifth year to the sixth year, uh, you could remove, the, the, the norm would be to remove it even during the, thin it during the sixth year. So you could, that which grew in the sixth year, you're allowed to remove the decay or thin the branches, kakshel shishis in the sixth year, that which grew in the sixth year, you could remove the decay or thin them out even in the seventh year. Reb Shimon, I'm Reb Shimon says no. Calls man shani rashi ilan, as long as you're allowed to do work in a tree, which we said is until shvuas of the sixth year, rashi ani bepisulo, that's when you're allowed to remove the decay, but after Shavuos of the sixth year, you can't remove the decay. Mishnah Dalit tells us, Mizahamin esanetiyos. You could put zuama, zuama is something loathsome, it means you could put uh, manure on saplings that lost their bark in order to protect the sapling. Vikarchan oisai, and uh, you could wrap them to keep them hot or to keep them uh, to, to protect them from the heat or protect them from the cold. The kaitmin oisan, kitma is ash. You could put ash on the roots of a tree that got exposed to protect the roots. Vice and lambatim or build small houses around them to protect them. Umashkin oisan, and you could water them ana Rosh Hashanah until Rosh Hashanah of Shemitah. Rabbi Lazar uh, uh, tzadikimer, even on Shemitah itself, you could water them indirectly by ha- pouring the water on the branch and letting it uh, slide down to the root. You could water the branch on Shemitah uh, so that indirectly the water will go down to the root. You can't water the root directly. Now, if you have figs that are growing in the sixth year, you could uh, coat them with oil that they should ripen quicker, or perforate them and put oil in them. Sochen es hafagim, you could anoint figs, umenak fina isan, and perforate them and put oil in them, ad Rosh Hashanah, 
until Rosh Hashanah, they should ripen fast. However, but that's only if they would have ripened before Shemitah. Fage Erev Shviyas, but figs of the sixth year, Shenich Nesul Shviyas, that will first ripen on Shemitah, Bishel Shviyas on the seventh year, Shiyatzel Lamaitzei Shviyas, that will ripen in the eighth year, Loi Sachem, you can't anoint them with oil, Veloi Menach Venoisan, you can't perforate them to put in the oil. Rabbi Yudah says it depends. When are you not allowed to do these activities? It's only in a place where it was the derech to do this. Rabbi Yudah, in a place where there's a minik to coat them with oil, then ain't sachet. But if that wasn't the custom, then sachet, then you're allowed to do it. Uh, the Rabbi Shimon Matabi Ilan, uh, Rabbi Shimon says to do work on the tree after Shemitah, even if it has figs that grew during the Shemitah year, you're allowed to do work because the work is for the benefit of the tree and you're allowed to do work for the benefit of the tree in the eighth year. Rabbi Shimon Matir Be'ilan, he says you could do work on the tree in the eighth year even though it still has figs from the seventh year. He could do work for the tree. Now, ain't night and you can't plant ve'en mavrichen. Mavrichen means to bend over a branch and and stick it into the ground so that it should grow a new growth. Mavrich is from the Russian of Berach, like to kneel. The Ein Mar Kivin, and you cannot graft Erev Shvius on the sixth year, Pachas Mishloshim Yoim, less than 30 days of Nei Rosh Hashanah. You can't do any of these activities, planting, bending, grafting, with a month before Rosh Hashanah of uh, before Shemitah, if you do, not if you did plant or hivrich or bend the vine into the ground, or hirkav or graft it, yakar, you have to uproot it. Rabbi Yudai Mekolar Kava, any graft, she'ena keletes l'shloi she'yamim, that doesn't take hold uh, in three days, shuv'ena keletes, it won't take hold. So uh, before 33 days, before Rosh Hashanah, you could graft, because then you know that it would take hold before 30 days. Rabbi Yisrael, Rabbi Shimon, I'm Shabbos. You need two weeks. So therefore, 45 days before Rosh Hashanah, you could do a graft. Mishnah Zayin tells us, and you know, I should just add over here, realize that when we learn this Chak, we are mamish doing the, that which the Arizal, together with the Chidah, instituted. We are connecting to, besides learning and having the Shechina in front of us and doing a mitzvah which is connected Kulam, we are connecting ourselves to the Holy Arizal and the Chida of what they thought that we should learn. It's an amazing thing. It's hard. It's hard to do all of this in one day but it's an amazing accomplishment. Ha'oyre is rice, vadoichen millet, vafrogen, papi, vashumshimim, and sesame. Sheshwi shulifnei Rosh Hashanah, that took root before Rosh Hashanah. In other words, it took root before uh, Shemitah. Or, if let's say we know, if the fifth year, we take Maiser Sheni. The sixth year, it's Maiser Oni. So, if it took root before the Rosh Hashanah of the sixth year, then Miss Asmin Lisha'avar, it belongs to the fifth year, and you would take off my Sushani, or Matarim Bashvias. And if it took root in the sixth year, then it's Mutter to use on Shemitah. It's not considered Paris Shemitah. The Imlav, but if not, it didn't take root, so then it belongs to the sixth year, and it's Maiser Oni. And it belongs to Shemitah, and therefore Asmin Bashvias, or Miss Asmin Lisha'avar. And if it took root, after Rosh Hashanah of the sixth of the sixth year, then the Maiser is Maiser Oni and not Maiser Sheni. Reb Shimon Shizuri, I mean, Reb Shimon Shizuri says also Pula Mitzri, Egyptian bean Shizaru Lazera Batrila that you planted not to eat the bean but for planting Kayotzebam, it's uh, is determined by whether it took root before Rosh Hashanah or after Rosh Hashanah. Reb Shimon, I mean, Reb Shimon says, likewise, afunim hagamloinen, fat beans, kriyatsebem. It depends if it took root before or after Rosh Hashanah. Reb Lazar, I mean, afunim hagamloinen, no, fat beans, the criteria is mishetir malulif ne Rosh Hashanah. If it formed pods before Rosh Hashanah, then it belongs to the year before. 
if it formed parts after Rosh Hashanah, then it belongs to the next year. Mishnah tell, tell, teaches us how B'tzalim HaSarisim. This, these are onions that do not have seeds. Right? Sterile onions. Onions that do not have seeds. Or pull Mitzri, an Egyptian bean that you planted to eat the bean. So here, Shemona Mehem Mayim Shloishim Yoim Lefnei Rosh Hashanah. If you withheld from them water, 30 days before Rosh Hashanah, in order that they should dry out, they belong, they belong to the year before. So if the year before was the fifth year, it's my Um And if it was the sixth year, then it belongs to the sixth year, Mutar Bashvias. However, the Imlav, if you, you, you didn't withhold the water 30 days before, Asurim Bashvias, they're forbidden, they belong to Shemitah, and they belong to the sixth year if it was between the fifth year and the sixth year, and you have to take off Maiser Ani. Vishel Bal, a, a, a field that's very moist. It's, the Rav says it's a field that's in a valley that's very moist. So there, Shemonamem, it's not enough to withhold 30 days. Shemonamem, Maim Shtei Oinais. Let's say you water usually every 20 days. So if you withhold water 40 days, Divrei then it belongs to the year, the, the year before. You have to have three ainas, you have to withhold water 60 days. And the final Mishnah of this pretty long parak, Hadluin Shekimon Lazera. Gourd that you want to keep, you want to dry out so that you should be able to plant it. If it dried out before Rosh Hashanah, it's not fit to be eaten. So then. That belongs to the sixth year, and what to the kaim b'shvius? You could keep it during shmita in order to plant it after shvius. Vim lav, but if it didn't dry out yet, also the kaim b'shvius. Then it has din of kedusha shvius. You can't keep it to plant it. Either way, hatmarish shalahem. The buds that grow from them, even if they're dry, asur and b'shvius are asur and shvius. Now umar beats on offer love, offer love, and again white. A grain is talking about white white earth is talking about a grain field. You could water the grain field in the sixth year, and you could even water the grain field during the seventh year that it should be fertile to plant in the eighth year. Divrei Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Lozben Yaakov, Rabbi Lozben Yaakov prohibits it. Memosin ba'iris bashvias. You could soak rice that's growing even during the Shviyas year, because you need to soak it heavily that it should uh, survive. Reb Shimon, I'm Reb Shimon says, although you could soak it with water, you cannot cut the leaves around the, the rice plant, that you're not allowed to do. And now, since we're in Zram, and there's only one Mesechta in Zram, so we learn from Mesechta's Brachas, always easier to learn Mesechta's Brachas, even if a snake is wrapped around a person's uh, heel, lo yafsaki shouldn't interrupt this. This should just make you ponder that you shouldn't be looking at your text on your your uh, cell phone, checking it during shmanesra. You don't even stop when there's a snake wrapped around your heel. This is only true about a snake. Aval akrov paisik. But if it's a scorpion, you could stop and interrupt and get away from it because uh, a scorpion is dangerous. May say a, a snake isn't. Why we learned nafal le goyvaroyis if a person falls into a den of lions, ain me eden olav shemes. We don't can't testify that he died so his wife could remarry because maybe he escaped. But nafal le chafira malei and nechoshim vakrovim. But if he fell into a pit full of snakes or scorpions, me eden olav shemes. So you see, a snake is also dangerous. Says him, now that's where he fell on it. Shani Hossam the Agav Itza, when he fell on it, the pressure of his fall, Maske will cause them to attack. Omri Yitzhak Rosh Varim Paisik, if he sees oxen coming at him, then he should interrupt his Shmad Esri and head for the hills. The Tani Rabbaisha, Marchikim Mishar Tam, we Marchik even from a Shar that uh, only gored once, or a Shar that uh, never gored. Right, so he's only a tam. He's not a uh, he's not a proven 
a, a, a killer, but it's still you should distance 50 amas, about 100 feet. But if it's a shah that already gored three times, get out of his sight. They taught in the name of Rameyer, even if the head of an axe is in the feeding basket. So he's preoccupied. Still, if you see him, slick Egra, go up to the roof. And throw away the ladder so he can't get up. Not every axe. Hani mili b'shor shacher, a black ox that's particularly ferocious. Or be yumei nisan, and in the spring when he's frisky, mepnei shasotn merakedly ben karna, because then the sotn is dancing between his horns. Tan rabbanan, ma'isi b'makom echad sheyor orid. There was an incident in a certain place that there was an orid. An orid is a very ferocious cross breed between a snake and a lizard, and it's very deadly. Vayamazik and sabrius, and it was killing people. They came to inform Rab Chanina ben Daisa that there was a menace to the community. Show me where his leer is, where he, he, his hole is. They showed him the hole. He put his heel on top of the hole. The, the, the orid came out, bit Rab Chanina ben Daisa, and that orid died. The Talak Sefer, he took the Arad on his shoulder, the he brought it to the base of Medrash. Amalhem Ubanai, look, my children, tell me to my children, ain't Arad Mamus, the Arad doesn't kill, Elachet Mamus, only sin kills. Ba'isa Shah Amru, at that time they said, Oiloy La Adam Shah Pagabay Arad, woe to a person that meets an Arad, but Oiloy La Arad, woe to an Arad Shah Pagabay Rabchanina Ben Daisa, that meets Rabchanina Ben Daisa. Now we learn a Zayar. Some of this Zayar is going to be a little bit above us, but we're going to learn a few things from the Zayar. First of all, that Chatzais is a very special time to sing praise to the Rabbi Nishalaylam. We'll also see that uh, a person's Neshama goes up and reports uh, of what he spoke about and what he did. And if it spoke bad things like Lashon Hara, that leaves an imprint on his body and on his soul. So it says the Zayav Edab Hashem Amoshe Leima Hashem spoke to Moshe saying Nasoes Rosh Bnei Gershon count the heads of Bnei Gershon. Rabbi Abba Pasach Rabbi Abba opened in Medrash Rabba Ashrei Adam Lo Yachshiv Hashem Lo Yavain. Fortunate is a person that Hashem does not consider it a sin. The Ein Beruchay Remia and he doesn't have in his spirit any deceit. So the Pasach is a little confusing. The beginning is not consistent with the end, and the end is not consistent with the beginning, because the beginning says, fortune is a person that Hashem doesn't consider it a sin, implying it is a sin, but Hashem doesn't consider it. And then the Pasuk says, that he doesn't have a sin. So which one is it? This we've already established. We have to look into this Pasuk. And this is established. So now, the Zaya tells us, Tochazi, come and see, Bishata the Tzlosa the Mincha, at the time already of the prayer of Mincha, Dino Sharia Ba'oma, already uh, strict judgment starts to prevail in the world. The Yitzhak Tikin Tzlosa the Mincha, therefore Yitzhak enacted uh, the prayer of Mitzha, Mincha because uh, Yitzhak is Gevura, right? Avram is Chesed, Yitzhak is Gevura. Yaakov is uh, Teferis and Tyra. So, Ugvura Ilah Ashal Tabaoma. And uh, already might prevails in the world. Uh, and Ada Osiv Va'o until nighttime comes, begin Lekabla Lay in order that n- n- night is greeted by a Din, which is known. Uh, the Tzad of Gevura, which is known as Leila. Uh, that's what the, uh, the Bir Azayah says, that night it, it, it greets the strict din, which is called Leila, Hanikroim Leila. Umezimna de Sharei Tzlasa de Mincha, from the time that the prayer of Mincha starts, Isperish Smola Lekivla, the there is separated the uh, tzad smol, which is the tzad of smol is the tzad gvura, to greet her. 
V'isar lelia, and night is awakened. Now, Bosa de Isa, when night is awakened, Kol inin niturin piskin de levar. All the guards that guard from the outside the entrances from Kodesh to Chol, Kulu mis ore ba'alma, they awaken in the world, vis pashtu, and spread out. V'chol b'nei olma tamin tamin demaisa, and all of the people that go to sleep and taste the taste of death, because sleep is the sixtieth of death, for itmar, this was already explained. For itmar, the papalgis lel yamamish at midnight, at what we call chatzais, isar smola kimil kadmin, the kayach of gevura awakens as it did bef- before, at the time of Mincha, Uvarda Kadisha Sal Karechen, and the Holy Rose, which is the Shrinta Kadisha, uh, causes to rise uh, wonderful smells. Vihime Shabachas Varimas Kala, and it praises and lifts its voice, the Shrinta to Kutcher Berichu, Ukidain Salka, and uh, then the Shrinta. Uh, Goes up. Vehim is shab v'shaya reishal eila b'smala, and its head at alus alus hashachar leans on the left side of kuchu berichu. That's what it says. Smoilo itachas l'rashi u'smala mekabale, and the left side kaviyachal of the rabbi nishlaylam accepts the shchina. Kedain at this time at Chatzais, Karoza Kare Ba'alma, there is a proclamation uh, called out to the world. Da Idan Hul is Ara, it's a time to awaken the Shapchale Lamalka to praise the king. O Kedain Tushbachton Mis Arin, and at this time the praise awakens. Viz Basmusa de Kola Ishtak, and at this time. It's mamtik all the dinim. It sweetens all the din. Fortune is the portion of Mandi Issa who awakens at that time. To uh, make this yichud and to praise at this time, to join at this time. Kan Osi Tzafra, when morning arrives, the Yamina Issa and the Kayach of Yamin, the Tzad of Chesed, the Tzad Yamin, which is the Kayach of Chesed, awakens. O Mechapkala, and there's a uh, hugging of the Shechina with Kutche Berichu. And Kedain Zivuga de Kula Ishtakach, that's a joining of completion. Kechada as one. Tochazi. Now we're going to hear what happens when the neshama goes up. Tochazi, come and see. Bishata de bnei nasha demichin. When people are sleeping, v'tam and tam and demaisa, and they taste the taste of death. V'nishmos and salka la'ela, and their souls go above. Kaima ba'asa de kaima, they stand where they stand. V'sbechinas al avodah the avdus kol yuma, and they're tested by the rabbi nishlaim on all that they did during the day. The Kosmano al Piska and it's written on the tablet. Now, my timer, what's the reason that this pe- takes place? What, why, why, why that th- this happens in the night? And the reason is, as Desire tells us, because begin the Nishmasa Salkalayla, when a person goes to sleep, his Nishama rises, Vasidis al Avodri de Barnash, and gives testimony about the behavior of a person, Val Kalmila Omila de Nafik Mipume, and for every word that came out of his mouth. Vikara Imila de Apik Barnash Mipume i Kidikayas, and when the person says something which is proper, Mila Kadisha, holy word, the Raisa of the Torah, Tzlaisa, or of prayer, Ahi Mila Salke goes up of Vakarikian and it splits uh, splits sh- sh- skies and firmaments. The Kaima Basa the Kaim and it stands in its in the place where it is. It doesn't go yet before Hashem. Adolelia until nighttime comes. Vinishmasa Salka, the soul goes up, the Ochidlahi Mila, 
and he takes these words of all like Kamamalk and brings it before Hashem. So imagine somebody learns Chok and somebody davens well and benches well, and the Shem is going to take all these words to the Rabbi Nishla. However, if these words are not proper, they're bad words, Melishna Bisha, like words from Lush and Hara. Hai Mila Sokal Asa de Sok, it goes up to wherever it goes up. O Kidain Isri Shim Ahi Mila, and these words are written down. Vahu Khaiva and the guilt. Ale de Barnash. It's it's branded on the person. Aive. At the time when the Nishama brings it up, these words are are embedded and the guilt is put on the person. From the one that sleeps in your bosom, and always your neshama, shmar piskepicha. God, the opening of your mouth, because the neshama is going to bring it to Hashem. We begin kach ashrei adam lo yachash of Hashem lo yavan. This is the pasuk that we mentioned in the beginning. Fortunate is a person that Hashem doesn't consider it a sin. Why? A masai kishein beruchay remia. When your spirit did not hear any deceit. When your neshama didn't hear any receipt, deceit, they didn't hear any lashon hara, any halbonus panim, any oynas devarim, any rechilas, any nivul peh, right? So then Hashem will not consider it a sin because he won't hear it from the neshama. And now we learn a very interesting piece of Musr that tells us that a yid is not allowed to be suspicious, superstitious. Kiloi nachash bi Yaakov, there's no divination by Yaakov. Tzivonu Tzirenu, our Creator commanded us, We shouldn't be superstitious. And in our great sins, There is nichash by Yisrael. For example, if something falls out of their mouth, they say it's a sign that they shouldn't go to a certain place. Right? If a black cat passes by, right? we're not allowed to do any of these superstitious things. And uh, they're boykin ba'inais. And they uh, also say that certain times are not good. Like the Friday the 13th. I'm remember Matsai Shabbos Shaloi Lachal Bayim. They say on Matsai Shabbos you shouldn't eat eggs. Oi Shaloi Lachachas Eish Te Pa'amim Kishi Eish Chayla Babais. You shouldn't take a fire two times out of the house if there's a sick person in the house. Oi Yoldus Te Shivit Tishi Yamim. Or you shouldn't take a fire. After a woman gave birth from nine days, the kamadvarm and other ideas sheina pe yachaladam we shouldn't even mention. With these superstitions, with being superstitious and 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 worrying about things that you shouldn't worry about, you're going against Hashem. There is a superstitiousness. Veravu v'noig bein bnei adam and it's practiced by people. Royan Aish, if they see a fire or get cholos ba'oras ma'umad, and the coals are not dying, Aimrim, they say that's a sign that Yilanu Oireach, that we're going to have a guest. And Im Techabeyu Bamayim, and if you put out that coal with water, Ha'oreach Yipo Bamayim, that's a sign that the guest will fall in water. Ve'enach Nichesh Kadom Azed, there's no greater uh, for prohibited activity of divination than this. And even the emes v'yatsav adaver, even if it's truthful, and kama b'nei adam nisu, and they tested it, you should know that even if they saw that they put out the coals with water and the, and the guest was damaged by water, that's just the sutton testing us. As acha sutton huamasa isan, the sutton is given uh, permission to try to to uh, seduce you. Kishraya sutton shezem menachish. When a sutton sees that a person is saying with divination, oh, the coals were put out with water, the irak will fall in water. The sutton says, I'll cast the guest in water in order to fool these people. In order to trick this person, that it should be a sign that they should practice divination. Sometimes the sun is given rishos to trick us. Woe to people that believe in these signs and omens. They transgress many lavim. You're not allowed to 
do divination, lo yimatze b'cha, you shouldn't find by you a menache, shu v'chu keseyem, lo yisei leichu, you shouldn't walk in the ways of the goyim, v'oit she'osim edus ha-tayr sheker, they're saying that the testimony of the Torah is false, the Torah says ki lo yinachash b'yakov, there's no divination in Yaakov. V'oisim ha-noidrim kishiyesh meichish reish, and those that swear, when they have a headache, shelo yoich lo oid meroish shel behem, and they won't eat any more, the head of an animal. Or if they have a stomach illness, they won't have kishka anymore. That's the ways of the Goyim. Trust in Hashem, and He will heal you. And finally, we learn from the Psak of the Rambam in Hilchus Tvila. This is about Birchus Shachar. When we hear the crow of the rooster, Blessed are you, Hashem. Our God, King of the Universe, who gives understanding to the rooster, to differentiate between day and night. Of course, when we say this, Brachavosefi also means the mind, and we thank Hashem that we could think, and we thank Hashem that we don't have Alzheimer's, Leilenu, and dementia, and we're not forgetful. Kishalevish, God, when he wears his clothing, puts them on. Mevarech Baruchat to Hashem Lekein Melech Olam Malbish Harumim, who clothes the naked, and we thank Hashem. Ramila used to say, "We thank Hashem for zippers, for buttons. Where would we be without zippers, buttons? We thank Hashem for warm clothing in the winter and uh, light clothing in the summer." Kishamenech Sidino Al Roisha, when he puts his turban on his head, his hat on his head. Mevarech Baruchat to Hashem Lekein Melech Olam Oite Yisrael B'Sefara. You're able to buy expensive shtreimel, or you're able to buy your wife uh, expensive shaitel, uh, or an expensive terhel. You make this, have in mind this bracha. We also have in mind the tefillin. Kishemait mavi yodav al enav, when he passes his hand over his eyes, mevarech pekeach ivrim, that he lets us see, he opens the eyes of the blind. We were blind when we were sleeping. Kishyeshav al mitasim, when we sit up from our sleep, mevarech matir asurim, he releases the binds of sleep. Kishyeshav. When we put our feet on the floor, and Baruch Hashem, we have dry land to stand on, and we put it on the firm land, he spread the land over the water. When you're able to stand up, he causes those that are bent to be erect. When he washes his hands, we wash our hands because we are new in the morning. And we also uh, we wash our hands to remove the uh, tumma of the night. When you wash your face, he removes the cords of sleep from our eyes and slumber from our eyelids. May it be your will, Hashem, our God, the God of our forefathers. You should get me in the habit to do mitzvah. I shouldn't get in. in mm, the habit to do sins and any type of sin of taiva. I should be controlled by my good inclination, and not in the hands of my evil inclination. Strengthen me in your mitzvahs. Give me your portion, your taiva. You should give me lechain. Favor, lechesed, and kindness, or l'rachm, and mercy, beinech, in your eyes, I should find favor in your eyes, Hashem, over enei choreya, and all those that see me, yeah, have in mind your spouse should find favor in you, your boss, your clients, your employees, your children, v'sigmeleni chasad, and toivim, and do to me good kindness, baruch atah Hashem, blessed are you Hashem, goimel chasad, and toivim, who gives benevolent good kindness to us. Because man she connects the basic kisa whenever you enter the basic kisa, I'm a kaidim she connects. Remember, we were accompanied by angels. We don't want the angels to come into the bathroom with us, so we say his kabdu mechubadim. Honor me, you honored ones, kedoshim, you holy ones, mishose elyon, isruni, help me, isruni, shimruni, shimruni, protect me, protect me. Ham tinu liache konis veetze, wait for me until I go into the bathroom and I leave. Shezed darken shobnei adam, everybody has to go to the bathroom. We don't do this nowadays, it should look haughty that we believe that we're worthy to be uh, accompanied by Malachim, right? Chayna malach Hashem sabav liyareyav. Only the, those that fear him have malachim around him. And after we leave the bathroom, we say, Blessed are you, Hashem. 
our God, King of the Universe, you created man with wisdom. There's so much wisdom in the human body and that you created us with the wisdom to know what to eat and, and, and what not to eat. You made a bunch of holes, orifices, uh, the, the nostrils, the, 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 the male organ, the, the eyes, the ears, Chalulim, chalulim, a lot of hollow organs like the heart and the liver, the pancreas, the brain, the, the, the bladder, the stomach, the colon. It's revealed and known before your holy throne. If one of these openings would be shut, or one of these organs, which is supposed to be sealed, would be perforated. If there would be a hemorrhage in the brain or a tumor, a hemorrhage by the heart, if the nostrils are blocked and we can't breathe, a choking, uh, if the it's constipation or diarrhea, this kind we cannot stand, we can't survive and stand before you, even one hour, you heal us by removing all the poisons with the excrement and the urination, and you heal us by by um, making sure that our arteries shouldn't be blocked. You do, you do wondrous, even though we have a, a, a soul inside us, which is a ruach, and we have many holes, and if there's a hole in a balloon, it deflates, yet the soul stays in even with all the, 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 the holes. And you do wondrous that all the poison comes out, and what, what's good is stays in, even though we're not doing that selection, and we don't even know what's good and what's not good. And you do wonder is that you help us even though we might not be worthy. Thank you very much for joining us, and have a wonderful day.